hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel it's your boy ybk here back with another video and today i'll be showing you guys how to remove a google account frp lock from a samsung galaxy s7 so without further ado let's get into it Alright guys, so you're going to need a SIM tray remover pin, so this pin right here, and you'll also need a SIM card with a pin code set on it. You can just set anything 000, 1234, anything. So let's just go to start and select the next button. Okay. Then connect to a Wi-Fi. Let me just enter my code here. All right, and connect. All right, so at first I'm just gonna show you guys that this does have the Google account lock on it. I'm just gonna go to next. accept all and next again and just wait on this to load select ok all right so it's connected and checking for updates all right so as you guys can see it is asking to verify your account and it's asking to enter the previous Google account that was used on this device. So this device was purchased by my friend online, but it came like this, asking for the previous Google account stuck in Google account FRP mode. All right, so this is the model of the device. It's a Galaxy S7. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and start the process of unlocking the Google account FRP. So let's just remove the SIM tray here. All right. And we're going to put in the new SIM that we're going to use on it. That's the one with the um, pin code lock on it. So let's just insert this SIM here. And just take this off the screen. And put the SIM all the way down. All right. So it's going to come to this screen here asking for the pin code. So now what you're going to do is put the SIM pin right there. And you're, as soon as you eject the SIM tray, you're going to press the power key to lock the phone. All right, there you go. So now you just press it again and there's the screen that we want to get to remove the SIM card. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and slide over this notification on the screen. Hold on, slide it quickly. All right, and then select on the bell icon for notifications, then select notification settings. Okay, so it's going to come to this screen, so you need to scroll down to YouTube. So just scroll all the way down and select YouTube. Now we are going to scroll all the way down again and select more settings in app. Then you're going to select about, then select YouTube terms of service. All right, so this will take you to the browser, Google Chrome. So from here, we're going to go ahead and type in a website here. It is called VNROM. We're just gonna search for that term only, just VNROM. All right, and search. All right, so we're gonna select the first link at the top. That's gonna take us to this page right here. Then select Android 6 GAM.APK. Let's select it here. All 
Alright, it's loading and select save. Alright, then select open. Select settings and enable allow from this device or this source. Go back and select install. All right, then select done. So next we'll be downloading Quick Shortcut Maker right here. So select that one and select save also. Then select open file and install. All right, so when this one is finished, we're gonna select on open instead of done. So select open. And now we're going to look for Google Account Manager right in here. So scroll all the way down to G. All right, so it's right here and select it. All right, so next we're going to select Google Account Manager once more, but the one that says type email and password below it right here. And we're going to select it and select try. Now it's going to take us to this page, select the three dots at the top right hand corner and select browser sign in. Select OK. Alright, so now right here you can sign in with any Google account you choose. I'm just going to sign in with mine here. Alright. You just enter this and my code. Alright. So it's signing in now. All right, so it's gonna come back to this page once it's signed in. So all you need to do now is hold down on the power button and then select on restart when it pops up. All right, there it is, select restart and restart. All right, so now you just wait on the phone to reboot. I'm just gonna speed up this process right here. So now that the phone is back on, we're going to go ahead and select on the start button that will be right here on screen. Hold on, all right, there it is. So select on start. Wait on the Wi-Fi to reconnect here. Okay, now select next. I agree to all and next again. Select OK here. All right, so it's checking now. And it will be showing you that a Google account is already added. So, all right, there you go, account added. So that's the account that I just used to sign in. So you just select Next. And from here on, it's basically you going through the original um, startup of a brand new phone for the setup method. You just select if you need a pattern or a pin or anything, you just skip that anyway and slide down and agree or accept, I should say. And you just follow all the steps here for the setup for a basic um, new phone, a new Samsung Galaxy S7. And you go there, select OK. And it's adding the finishing touches so that setup can be completed. Skip this right here and skip again. Don't restore. And next, finish. All right, so there you go. It's now on the home screen. And you can go ahead to remove the Google account that you just entered. If it's that, it's not the one that you want on the device. Or you can leave it there if it's the one that you're going to use. So guys, 
If you like this video, remember to like, subscribe, and share. And if you want to see more of my content, you can click on the links that are at the end of this video. You can select my playlist or my next videos if you want free cable and so on. You can just go ahead and stay tuned for more. So thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time.